and this is where most of you will make a mistake and the interviewer will reject you so what most of you will do is that hey guys welcome back to the channel on this channel we try to learn various concepts of data science by practicing a lot of questions this video is in continuation of the sql 50 crack sql interview in 50 question series where we are trying to learn hands-on sql using 50 carefully curated questions covering diverse aspects of sql so we were already done with select part almost done with the basic joints as well next we will be focusing on basic aggregate functions sorting and grouping advanced select and joins sub queries and finally advanced string functions regex and clauses in our previous video we worked on this question called student examinations where we saw cross join left join group by and count clauses in action in this video we are going to solve this question on managers with at least five direct reports and try to learn from it so okay let's jump right in so yeah, this is the 13th question of the series managers with at least five direct reports and if you look at the companies this question has been asked in amazon apple and bloomberg interviews let's look at what the question is saying so we are given a table called employee with four different columns id name department and manager id and these being their data types id is the primary key column with unique values for this table each row of this table indicates the name of an employee their department and the id of their manager if the manager id is null then the employee does not have a manager no employee will be a manager of themselves okay we are asked to write a solution to find the managers with at least five direct reports order of the result does not matter again we learned in our previous videos that only one table is given and we are you know working on the join part right so whatever type of join we perform it is going to be called a self join right and self joins can be performed using inner join left join right join etc right so let's go through this example so here we have certain people right certain people and uh, name name of the employee their departments and their managers okay so once we have this so basically we need to return the name of the manager who has at least five direct reports so if we look at it right so dan james amy and ron all report to manager id 101 and 101 is basically john right so in the output we need to have john okay so since we already established that we need to perform a self join then what we can do is we can use two different versions of the employee table so you know let me just drag it above so what we are saying is let's consider this as e1 and e2 right because we learned that if we are performing a self join we need to have the same table name but the aliases should be different so this is e1 this is e2 now if we join manager id of e1 with the id of this one right e2 then we can get the names of the manager right so here you can have another column called name of the manager where you can have the manager also should we use inner join or left join to perform this self join just think about it right so if you perform a left join even if rows such like this right john is a manager who does not have any other manager right so if you perform a left join in left join every row from the left column is kept right however such rows does not make any sense for us because we need to count all the managers who have at least direct reports right so the better way would be to use a inner join so let me go ahead and do this so from right from this table called employee alias as e1 let me do inner join of employee right so self join on same table but the alias should be different on e1 dot manager id is equal to e2 dot id okay let me return everything right let me return everything from this uh, and let me run this let's see what do we have here okay so if i you know look at this let me drag it on the left so now we have id name department and manager id so these four columns coming from the e1 version and these four coming from the e2 version so now we have the name of the employees the their manager id and the name of the manager okay so once we have this then we need to say that okay every manager who has at least five direct reports right so we need to group by the manager and this is where most of you will make a mistake and the interviewer will reject you so what most of you will do is that okay we need to return every manager that has at least five direct reports so if i you know group by right group by the name right and name name this is the name of the manager right these are the name of the employees so name of the manager is coming from the e2 version right so e2 dot name and since we learned by group by that whatever you are grouping by you can return that part as well right so e2 dot name right 
Also, until now, we have learned one way of filtering that is using the where clause, right? So where we need to check one condition in every row, right? But when you need to filter by an aggregate function, right? So here you do not need to filter row by row. Here you need to find that only those names of the manager who have at least five direct reports right so in that case filter we use having clause so what we do is we write having right and then having count of count the number of direct reports by counting the id of the employees right so count and this column is coming from e1 version so e1 dot id you can also use the name part does not matter so having count of even dot id so basically at least five direct reports right so greater than equal to five now if i run this this is saying okay this is accepted right but if i go ahead and submit it right it is going to fail let me drag on the right so this says wrong answer and does not pass as cases right and one of them is that expected is john and john and our output is john can you think of the problem that might be occurring okay the thing is that we grouped by the name right it is possible that there are two different managers with two different ids but with the same name right so that is why grouping by e2 dot name is not a sound way of doing it right so let me go ahead and cut this part out and let let's go back to the whatever we had in our uh, you know join so let me go ahead and run this okay so if i drag it on the left so we had this right now instead of grouping by the name we should group by the ids right so even if they have same name the ids will be different right because id is a unique column right so if i group by right group by e2 right so this column is coming from e2 version right so e2 dot id and then by name right and in our output we learned that whatever we group by we can only return those columns but it is not mandatory that whatever columns that you group by you return all of this so even though we are grouping by e2 dot id we can return only the name part right so e2 dot name right and then we can have that okay filter so having right so let me drag this down so having count of right having count of even dot id at least five okay let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we have here so this is again says accepted but let me submit it to see if it passes all the test cases or not so yeah if you look at it it passes every test case right so yeah this is how we do it so not a difficult question but we had to you know firstly perform a self join we found out which columns to use and secondly in group by we need to be careful because people can have same names but their unique ids will be unique right so group by the ids and not names so whenever such questions come try to keep that in mind and we also learned about how to filter based on aggregate values so we can use having clause and do a count okay so yeah, this is how i do it let me know if there's a better way or more efficient way to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i will see you guys in the next video